Hi there, Virgo, and welcome back to Star Lotus Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the week of September the 21st through to the 27th. I went ahead, excuse me, and shuffle the cards, lay them all out. Let's see what's going on for Virgo. First up, we have the Six of Swords, or Upright, followed then by Major Arcana, the Emperor, Upright. And next, we have the Page of Cups in the Upright, Followed then by the Nine of Wands upright. And lastly, we have the Four Pentacles reversed. Okay, so Virgo, your overall energy is that of the Six of Swords in the upright position. Well, this could be indicating a few different things. For some of you, this could be about movement. Maybe you are physically moving. You could be traveling or making plans to travel, to physically travel around. Uh, go somewhere for others of you. You could be physically looking at moving. Maybe you're wanting to move homes, move offices, move across the world, <laughs> move somewhere. You just want to go. <laughs> but um, this is also representative of moving away from turmoil and emotional difficulties and emotional choppy waters. That's mainly, this is about distancing oneself from where if you were in turbulence, especially emotional term turbulence, Virgo, you could see that coming to an end this week where things just kind of calm down, your emotions kind of settle and you kind of calm down. That could be happening this week for some of you. Now, remember, only take what resonates for you. If it doesn't resonate, it's not meant for you. So you'll know if it is. <laughs> and the first card we have is the Emperor in the upright position. This is a big card that represents control and power. There could be a powerful person around you in the early part of the week, uh, Virgo, if you're looking for work or you're looking to maybe uh, get something going, maybe your own business or something like that, or if you're looking for a business partner, this person could be, this is a powerful person. This is the man in charge. <laughs> this, is, uh, this is definitely somebody who has the power to, uh, you know, to help you or to harm you. <laughs> well, he's not harming you. He's in the upright. So there's definitely some assistance there for some of you who need to get started on something, on a career, or even if it's a job situation, this could be a CEO. This could be somebody who has a lot of connections, who's helping you. Others of you, this could be about a need to keep control. Perhaps you're, you finally stabilized your emotions and maybe you need to just keep control over like self-govern, self-control. So perhaps that's it, or maybe you're dealing with an extremely per, uh, a person who's extreme in their control. Uh, this is uh, Mars energy, which is that of Scorpio and, and uh, Aries. So perhaps you're dealing with one of those signs. Now the next card up is the um, <clears throat> Page of Cups in the upright position. This is a court card, could be representing a person. If it's representing a person, this is water energy. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. We do see Scorpio here in the Mars Road card. Maybe some of you have encountered a uh, Scorpio. Perhaps this person is being very helpful, but this person could be sending you messages that are bringing great joy into your emotions, making you feel happy. Now, it could definitely be on the romantic front, but on it could also be on the career front, especially if you have a career that's in um, uh, in the creative field, definitely, because cups also govern, you know, creativity and stuff. But for others of you, this is um, perhaps somebody who's sending you love notes. Somebody has a crush on you, Virgo. <laughs> they could be sending you really nice messages. They could be a little bit emotionally immature because the, the Page of Cups is sweet energy. The pa Page of Cups is beautiful energy, actually. Um, the Page of Cups loves like he's never been hurt. Can be representative of a child, of a grandchild, for you, perhaps for some of you, who's really making your day. Um, perhaps there's a level of control that you're trying to keep over someone. Uh, it could be a child. Maybe you're really guarding them carefully because they're, they are so open. <laughs> this could be uh, representative in the romantic sense. Yes, definitely. Somebody has a crush on you could be sending you uh, messages. For others of you, this could be about an apology. Perhaps um, if somebody has 
uh, you know, hurt you, hurt your feelings or something like that, they could be ready there to apologize. And if that's the case, if this person is apologizing, it's very heartfelt and it's very honest. So you can believe what they say. If they're apologizing to you, it's not just lip service. They really mean it. <clears throat> Then moving towards the weekend, we do see the Nine of Wands here in the upright position. This is the Wounded Warrior card. This is where we have fought many battles, many challenges on one particular front. Now, Aries also got this card in their reading, and we do have, you know, Aries' uh, connection here with the Emperor. So uh, the Nine of Wands is where we're on guard. We've already fought many battles on the same subject. It could be about a relationship. Perhaps we keep hitting the same snag over and over again, and we're just ready to deal with it. See, the good thing about the Wounded Warrior is this is strength in reserve. He's ready to fight another day if he should have to. He doesn't necessarily have to, though. So he's just ready to do it in case. So this is not a prediction of a battle, another battle along the same lines happening. It's just about uh, the preparedness, feeling like, oh, oh, here we go again. We might be going down this road again. I need to prepare for battle. <clears throat> so that's what's happening, to, moving towards the weekend. And then we have the Four of Pentacles here, reversed. Four of Pentacles in the upright, I call it my little hoarder card. <laughs> this can be where we're holding on too tightly to material goods. Could be holding on, uh, saving money maybe because we need it for a certain event. Um, sometimes we're holding on to our possessions. That's why I call it the hoarder card. And we need to have a garage sale or just give some things away or throw them away. Do something. Um, for others, this is about holding on to old belief systems that could be outdated. So that could be the case with you, Virgo. Maybe it's time to switch that up, change it up, because the Four of Pentacles is now in the reverse position. So for some of you, this could be representative. Remember we talked about moving or traveling or something like that. Maybe you have some funds um, that have been released to you. You could have been needing to hold on to your money because you were saving it or perhaps you were using it to pay something down or pay like a credit card or something like that or pay off your last trip and now you finally paid it off. You're no longer having to pay that. So it could be finances are freed up for you to be able to travel. That could be the case for some of you. For others of you, this is about letting go of old belief systems perhaps. Maybe old cha these challenges keep coming up in your life because you have you're holding on to old belief systems that are outdated you need to release those old belief systems and then <clears throat> perhaps the challenges will cease to be challenges again so that is what i have for you virgo we're gonna leave it there i hope it helped you if it did please feel free to like share and subscribe and i'll see you next week bye bye for now